What's up guys, today we're talking about the Splav. Tank tops are what they're called in the bag. T-shirts, I got one here in Les, or Urban Les, or Garad, which was came around 1992 and exclusively based off of M81 Woodland. I have Green Commish here, which is a 1993 issue. <laughs> Green Commish and the Commish camouflage is also known as like Platinum, whatever the fuck, PFO or whatever came around 1993 and uh, there's a lot of pictures of MVD Oman wearing them and stuff but here is green commish there's also a blue one for urban colorways and like a red one and so on and so forth but I just want to say where I got these real quick so I got these from a seller called you bid for the best and I got this in a $90 and I got this in a like five piece uniform set that I got from them and it's all swag products brand new in packaging which is very rare nowadays and for the price it was killer $90 it's gonna pass it up and so, you know, divide a 90 by five, you get um, $18. But basically each, each item, I guess these both cost $18 or whatever. But um, these came brand new in the packaging and it was a super cool experience opening up some splat tank tops. I never thought I'd be able to have the opportunity. Came in these bags here, this this main bag here, this is what came, this is what the garage or less splav camo tank top came in. This big one has splav, splav are you here? And on this one, it says um, make one 100% cotton. I think this says, and it says it was issued uh, January 1st, 2005, in size 56. Gives all your stuff here, company Splav, and it says city there, I think. And But on the inside here, this is what the cover flap looks like, So because I know no one's ever going to show this on YouTube. So this is actually the one the Green Kamish tank top showed up in. And when I got this, I literally thought it was just like a normal bag, you know, like some eBay sellers would wrap stuff in. So I'm like, okay, you know, 54, extra, extra large. But then it actually had a freaking Splav tag on it, guys. And it says it was from May 2003. It says camouflage t-shirt and tiger camouflage here. And it's a 54, which gives 108 centimeters across chest. Get normal splat product. This is literally like a very low quality, like, this is a low quality plastic bag. It's very easy to rip. But there you go. That's a general overview of the packaging here. Super cool to have this in 2024. I would keep the packaging, definitely. But came in the package, which was a very cool experience opening this up. All right, two minutes, 41 seconds already of talking about random bullshit. So let's talk about the the t-shirts here. I might edit this in two videos or I might just keep it in, into one video and you guys have a little collage here of splav tank tops. So these tank tops are long because you want to have these tucked in. You don't want this, you know, just this over uniform top and they're made of this kind of, I guess you could say scratchy cotton, but it's like, if you look in deeply into it, it's like this like kind of cotton with wide spacing in it. So like a breeze can pass through. If you guys can see here, super nice material. Has a, a light, a, um, a light amount of stretch to it but it's very soft to the touch and very nice to wear and this is green camouflage camouflage absolutely amazing there's the seam work here it kind of rides uh high on the back or a bit lower on the back if you were like a normal standard american tank top and you expect it to be on the back of your neck don't this will ride like just below like your like spine area on the back of your neck it runs these run a little bit lower and the way you know that once which one's the front is um there's a kind of tag here on one of them where where's that tag at here we go here's the tag and this is the one, one of the only tags here it says made in russia in plain english and on the back it says absolutely nothing but have that facing towards the front and this hangs out you can cut it out or whatever but when it turns inside out and show you what it looks like on the inside this is what it looks like on the inside you have the print bleeding through a little bit but that's literally the only tag on this one is made in russia it's very cool very comfortable this is really good in hot weather and overall, it's a really cool piece having something from like, what does it say, a 2003 or 2000, yeah, 2003. Having something from that era that's Russian and Kemush and just knowing all the stuff and like seeing who used it. It's really cool to have, guys, especially that came in the package. And for the price of $90 or five pieces, also got like an urban, less uh, garage, less M1 suit, which has like M21 pants, but M1 airborne jacket. It's very badass, but got so much stuff i got the uniform set these two tank tops and the hat so five items pretty cool here's also another tag here found the another tag here this says uh company splav and it says 5418 100 percent cotton i think and on the back it's absolutely nothing but here's another tag here pretty badass flip it over and that's about it for this tank top here very comfortable very nice very badass piece now let's talk about the less urban less garad which means city in russia urban less garad it's by a tank top here it's a normal tank top similar fabric to the previous one 
slight stretch. This one feels slightly different. Very nice overall. Does it have its flab tag where it usually is? No, it does not. This is a bit more higher quality, I guess you could say. This one is uh, definitely not as, it feels a little bit heftier. It feels a little heftier than the green commish tank top. But overall, still a really cool piece. Has that 56 tag and that's it. Watch instructions on the back. No main rush or anything, but still very badass. So here's just been a quick overview of the Splav tank tops. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.